Today's video is sponsored by HelloFresh. Go to HelloFresh.com and use the code NERDYCRAFTER12 to get up to 12 free meals, including free shipping on your first box. Hey Grains, welcome to Cash or Trash, the episode where we review multiple crafts. That was too soon, too soon. <laughs> hey Grains, welcome to Cash or Trash, the episode where we review multiple craft kits to make sure that I waste my money and you don't. Today we're going to be looking at craft kits that are soft. Unlike my sister, who is not soft. What? Because you're a hard- Ah, <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, oh, you're flexing. Very nice. Keep flexing. <laughs> I'm not very flex, no. Pterodactyl noises no. really got me. <laughs> <laughs> Joining me today is my sister, Sika. Finally. I was waiting for that. I just needed to introduce the kids. No, me first. <laughs> just waiting for you to say something. I'm not gonna say anything. I'm, I'm damned if I do, if I'm damned if I don't. <laughs> As I was saying, we have craft kits that look soft and jelly-esque. The first one is Rainbow Jellies. Create your own squishy characters. And I have to say, they kind of look scary, but adorable at the same time. You know that line that you shouldn't cross? Yeah, there's like a fine line. Between and kind and of creepy. just like... Mm. Yeah, they're just right at that line. Hanging out there. This one, that's really getting it. I know, that one's getting to me too. The next kit is called Jungle Wind Ups. This kit was sent to me by one of Ugrains. Actually, all of the things we're going to be looking at today has been sent by Ugrains. And it's basically, I'm guessing, a clay kit where they can race each other. I'm very excited because I want to see which one of us is going to win the race. I'm wondering how the mechanics work, if it's just random or if they're all actually at the same speed. You I'm know thinking what? they're the same speed. So then it depends on how heavy your clay is. That's true, but we're going to take the same amount of grammage. Okay. Okay? Yes. This there's no cheating. We're making this fair. <laughs> yeah, we're making this very fair. Okay. Because she likes to cheat. That is not true. You're the cheater in the family. <laughs> I actually am. Nope, I'm not. Cheater. No! <laughs> By the way, for those of you new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe. I'm gonna just keep this knife away from her. From my face? Yeah. <laughs> We do a bunch of weird stuff on this channel, and when you subscribe, you are part of the Salt Shaker family, which makes you... An itty bitty little grain. Yes. <laughs> For those of you wondering, this kit is $46. It is nowhere near the definition of inexpensive. That's so pricey, and you're only getting four charms, too, and they're very small charms. We'll see if they work. I'm a little sad. Already? <laughs> well, it's expensive. It four is. Four charms? Let us know in the comment section below which one of these two kits you think is going to fail miserably. See I don't know. <laughs> I think this one. I think I think that one too. With that said, our first victim, Rainbow Jellies. Eat your own squishy characters. Why did I do that? What is this I voice? Are you 89 years old? Mentally. Oh no. <laughs> And Sika noticed that there's also 25 surprises inside. So but usually when they say that, it's like almost the instructions are also a surprise. Surprise! You have instructions! You're very peppy today. I'm tired. Oh honey, come here. Oh honey. Is it bedtime? No, it's not bedtime. Uh, it's, it's morning. Oh, watch your mouth! Whoa, your mouth. It... <laughs> I'm really excited to try this kit because I've tried similar kits like this one and they failed miserably. So hopefully this one has a better recipe. What failed about the other kit just out of curiosity so I can see what I'm getting myself into right now. It never filled the mold entirely. Oh, okay. Oh. Okay. The other thing that worries me about this is even when we turn the box around, we see some really cool rainbow-esque characters, but rather the front and the back are all photoshopped pieces. That's true. Not a single Real end piece. result. Yep, that's never a good sign. Mm -mm. And as you can see, it says, choose, add magic goo, and squish. If only it were that. No. Just squish me here. Squ are you satisfied? No. No? No. <laughs> see, I was just like putting her finger, shoving her finger into holes and... Did you feel it? Yeah, I did. Was it satisfying? Nope. That's what I thought. <laughs> but if it does work, then it would be satisfying. I guess. Okay. 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 Let's try. Which means... Time to see what we get inside. <gasps> oh, it is a surprise box. It feels like a advent calendar yeah. type thing. Okay, let's punch some holes. No, no not yet! 
The first thing we noticed is that there's no actual order to opening this a single bit and Sika also realized They seem to be putting like, what's the name pointy? Pointed, pointed lines? lines. <laughs> but I, mean, I couldn't remember the word. They're putting very light pointed lines in blue but they're not making them obvious enough. So like you have pointed lines down here and I didn't even notice it until I had to like super look at it. Yeah, so we're really curious if there's actually 25 to open in here or not and if we can find them all. It's almost like a treasure hunt. I feel like we should just open it from the back. Just peel it open. No, let's let's at least try a couple of them. Okay. And see how difficult it is to, to get it out. Okay. All right, you want to try one? Sure. Which one do you want to open? This one. I'm holding. Okay. What is this? I don't know. Dang. <laughs> What, Jackie? What do you want What's me to happening? do? Just open it. I saw that. I saw you almost want to ah. tear the entire thing. Oh. oh, I got it out. I think it's a keychain? I, I guess. Yeah, I think it's a charm. I want to open one too. Okay, give me. All right, so I want to try this one. Oh. That was easier for you to get That's out. That's our goo. Okay. Yeah, because I chose a big one. I didn't go for a little one. I was trying to leave you for the bigger stuff. Okay. That's very considered. I appreciate that, but it's so unlike you. That is not true. <laughs> it's not true. She's very considerate. But also very aggro. <laughs> I don't want to talk because I know you're going to blow my face. <laughs> so it seems like this is our goo mixture and it says one hour. All right, you want to rip the entire thing now? Kind of. Okay. All right, so Sika, be gentle though. Just remove it gently. Gentle? Gentle. There's no order. There's no numbers or anything for us to actually remove. Okay. There's, I think, a tail that's stuck here. Do you see this? Oh, it's a hair. Oh. Ow. <laughs> Okay, so we have all of these molds that we can- You ready to do a count? Wait, there's more! And I know there was one at the oh corner down gosh. here too. Look, at, look, 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 wait! I want to show! <laughs> We're all like, look, oh my god! Okay, so there's like all over here. It's oh my gosh, thing. what is that? More hair? Yes. Okay. So let's count how many surprises we get. So officially, we do get 25 surprises. What did you get distracted with, Sika? Faces. Faces? We get four faces. We also get four different molds with different animals. So as you can see here, unicorn. And this is what it looks like on the inside. Very cute. Interesting, interesting. Kitty cat and the inside. I'm guessing this is a koala and oh, yeah. what it looks like. And last but not least, and... Puppy. Puppy. Oh. I think this one's laying down. What's this? Okay, it's in the right place. Okay. Yeah, you okay? Yeah. You were ready to like panic. Fight. No, I'm not gonna start a fight. <laughs> We get four mixtures in green, uh, green, yellow, <laughs> blue, pink, and purple. Yes. So basically the idea of this kit is we have to mix both mixtures here and then pump it straight into the mold. Having a bad hair day. I know, where we also get four tufts of hair, also corresponding to the characters. If you grains know me, is I don't like to make things match, so it's possible that I'll take different faces to put on different hairs and different bodies. I mean, the box does say we can create our own stuff, right? So we're gonna do it. Okay. okay. You can't tell me what to do. Because I do what she wants to do. Exactly. We also get these four little comb looking things, which when we look onto the box, it kind of looks like it's a hairpin placement. That's my guess too. Okay. And I'm guessing this is to turn them ah, into keychain type things or bag charms. And the 25th surprise is a squishy. Which is the one I was trying to poke. Yeah. So we don't know what character. No, 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 no. Pull. No, no. <laughs> I'm scared. And we all, were you distracted again? <laughs> Let's see that. Yeah, because look, look, it has sparkles in no, it. No, hang on. Let's see that again. <laughs> and we all We also get an instruction sheet, which is also colored. So Jackie tore it. Yeah, I did. So let's read the instructions and do the do it. There we go. <laughs> all right. So we're going to start with the one Sika wants to do, which is the gay. I'm going to do the unicorn, but first I want to see Sika make mistakes so that I don't repeat them. Bruh. All right, so Sika, what color do you want your kitty cat to be? Actually, first you need to choose your face. Um, well, I want- Okay, stop moving uh, them. Mm, they can't see. Uh, the last one. <laughs> Hi. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> so I want my base to be purple. So I think I'm going to do either pink or yellow. What do you think? Oh, I think if you're going to do with purple, then definitely yellow will stand out more. Okay. Oh, <laughs> the, it's so white. It's so extra. It's like, yeah, it's like me. I'm extra. <laughs> So according to the instructions, we're going to be putting this into the holes Pegs. over here. Go ahead. No, I have to put hair first. Oh, okay. And now Sika has to choose hair. Which one do you want? This one. Okay, you're really going punk rock here. Yeah. And then you put it in here like yes. a soul. Like a soul. Like a soul. <laughs> okay. 
and then you put this into the pegs like, like a, a sew. sew. <laughs> okay. okay. <laughs> so extra. <laughs> you good, bro? Mm -hmm. Okay. And then I think we close the locket. Okay, that's pretty straightforward. I think so. Okay, go ahead and close it. That's what it looks like. Like this. Yes. And then you lock it. Very nice. So now we have to break these two inside here and mix them until they are one uniform color for about one minute. Lock it. Pop it. Lock it. Twist it. <laughs> Bounce it. Pull it. <laughs> You know, I actually have one. Oh my god, it would be so much anxiety if I play it. Alright, let's see you pop it. I yes. had Okay, yeah, it, it already... There you go. Gross. Squeeze. <laughs> I don't have thumb. You won't mix it. I'm mixing it! You won't mix it! <laughs> <laughs> I feel like it's mixing weird. Yeah, and you have to do it for one minute. Alright, so it's been a minute, now you're going to twist it so in there. Put it in. Yeah. And then lock it in. Yes. And I think I just need to... Yeah. Squeeze it all nice and good in there. Kind of like toothpaste. Make sure you don't miss anything as much as possible. They do say that there's going to end up being a little smidgen at the bottom and there's nothing you could do about it. With... <laughs> wow, watch your mouth! <laughs> my thumbs are sore. I know, imagine my thumbs. I have like no thumb power. All right, so this is as much as we could go and we can tell that she got as much as she could because it seems like there's a little bit of overflowing. So I think that's a good thing. And they say to keep the bag in. Yeah, they do. So now we're going to wait 45 minutes, but let me make mine too. Unicorn time. These are the facial expressions that we have left. I feel like the one that makes the most sense for me. So you, guys, you don't even have to guess. I think you know which one is me most. The salty looking one? Yes. <laughs> It's like, it's like, <laughs> Okay, so Sika went for purple. I think I'm gonna go for yellow, yellow green. Like the green limey. Yeah, green limey. I have a question for you. Uh -huh. Does it look like mine's backing up into the bag? Cause it looks like it's more Yeah, purple. it is. So it seems like some of the liquid is coming back up. <laughs> that is weird. Do you want to try and push a little more? No, no, just, no, no, leave it there. Because when you go to press it, you're gonna see, like you're gonna feel like a disturbance of air. <laughs> oh, so it's gonna it push is. back up. Yeah, I think that's what it is. So I'm gonna take, I'll take this hair. Oh, but it's matchy. Oh, okay, this one. Yeah. It's gonna match the green. Yeah, that, that's better, I think. Okay, here? Yeah. Oh no! Other okay, way. I'm sorry. <laughs> Other way. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry! <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Actually, I should've let you mess up because you wanted me to go first to mess up so you didn't mess up, but now you almost messed up and I saved you. Whoa! Mm -hmm. You keep my booty out of this. Okay, and now we put it here. Like a so. Like that? Yeah, I think so. Okay. And straighten up your hair. And then we push it in. Yes. And then you clip it. And now we mix it. And then you go mix it. I go mix it. Okay. Pop it first. Oh my gosh. Do you need help? No, I got it. One oh. minute. <laughs> okay, one minute. All right, so I'm going to do what Sika did and shove it like and a key. Twist. Does it say left or right? I don't know. Okay, so the other way. This way. Oof. I think okay. it locked. Okay. Okay, I think you turned it the wrong way, maybe? That's possible. Okay, I let's... I thought it locked, though. I guess not. You see what I mean? <laughs> Excuse me! <laughs> okay, so yeah, we know that we can see that there is some kind of overfilling, which is good. We'll try and overfill as much as we can. In case there's air bubbles, too. Yeah, there we go. I'm gonna just keep squeezing. Because it's gonna suck it back in like a straw. It should, technically, if there's still air. There. Okay. 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 So 45 minutes and we'll be back. All right. But wait, let's talk about today's sponsor, HelloFresh. For those of you who don't know HelloFresh, they are America's number one meal kit that makes cooking at home fun, easy, and affordable. Every week, Pat and I prepare our meals, we freeze them, and then we put them away, but it gets really hard getting inspired to find new recipes. And so when I tried HelloFresh and seeing how many recipes they have, I got excited again <laughs> cooking, not just always the same things. The other thing I absolutely love about HelloFresh is that it saves time. The meals come packaged so you know what ingredients goes with what, but also the recipe list tells you how long it's going to take. And 30 minutes? Yeah, I'll take that. That's very quick. One of the other things I noticed is that you are not wasting ingredients. They give you pre-portioned packages so there's less prep and less waste. And HelloFresh is really flexible. Whether it be changing delivery days or adding extra proteins or garlic bread, They've got you covered. But first, let us make a meal. Let's make one pan chorizo hash. Turn these into this and now roast it. Magic. <laughs> Time for cookie cookie. I'm telling you, the whole house smells like this. I'm loving it. Bon appetit. Oh, that's hot. 
Mm. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes. Eh, get your own. <laughs> so what are you waiting for? Go to HelloFresh.com and use the code NERDYCRAFTER12 to get 12 free meals, including free shipping. That's HelloFresh.com, code NERDYCRAFTER12. And yes, 12 free meals, including shipping. Thank you, HelloFresh, for sponsoring today's video. All right, so here we are one hour later. We're going to go for Sika's first. You ready? Yeah, oh, I think I you're supposed to it, remove yeah. this first okay. and then unmold it. Sika? Okay. Yes. You don't want people saying, But Sika, you're doing it wrong. Okay, you ready? Yeah. yeah. What? I think, th I think that's normal. We're supposed to snip off extra bits. Oh. That's why I got skizzers. Okay, ready? Yes. Should I open it this way? Is that what the instructions said? I don't remember. <laughs> Where'd it go? Hello? Hello? <laughs> instructions? Instructions? No, I can open it backwards and then pull it out. Okay. All right, let's do it, Sika. I want to see what you got. Oh. Are you hungry? Are you hungry? What is all this noise coming out of your your stomach? I wasn't sure what's happening. Okay, you ready? Mm-hmm. Do I just pull it out? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Did some of it get on the face? Yeah, that's what it looks like from what I can see. Oh my god. Yeah, just pull. That's not so bad though. I mean, some of the hair is in there too though. That is pretty cute. I did not expect it to go as well. And I'm pretty sure you could just cut these yeah, off. Yeah, I think we can cut that off. We can just like slightly remove it like that. Okay, even manually. Yeah. Easy. Nice. That actually worked. I am very surprised. Let's see the back. Nice. Okay, and you just cut this off. Yep, pretty much. Okay, time to try mine. Wait, I still need to put a beret in. This, I don't, why isn't it digging? Is this sorcery? <laughs> oh, I think it's because of the gunk in it. This is like all jelly, so I can't get it through here. We'll be right back. All right, while Sika's playing around with the hair, I'm going to remove... Eee. Why is this not coming out? Twist, girl. I'm twisting. Oh, there you go. Let's see our cute little unicorn. I'm very... Oh! Nice. That is cute. Where did we pull it? You just pulled it out, right? Yeah. Okay. Okay. And I didn't even get a little stick in the back. Look at that. And it is nice and squishy and pulley. Look at that. Very, very nice. And we can put the comb. Sika's having a bit of a hard time with hers because she had a bit of a solidified bottom. But mine is the same thing. I think it's cute as is. I'm braiding mine. You're actually legitimately braiding it. Yeah. Okay. Her hair looks like a mess. Well, it's kind of like my hair. Your hair is a mess. Wow. You want to tell me anything else? That booty big. Whoa! <laughs> I feel oddly weird. <laughs> and now the question is, was it fun? Yeah. Did it work as it said it would? Yeah. It was also a very easy kit too, actually. Yeah, it was very, very quick to put together. And yeah, it does have a form of creativity. However, <laughs> is it worth your cash? It's expensive for what it is. Especially yeah. Especially that you can only use the molds once. That's right. So at $46, $47, one time use makes each one of these tiny figures, yes, cute, extremely expensive. Yeah, it's $11 and a couple of cents for one. Mm -hmm. So more than that. 46? Yeah, but uh, 11 times four is 44. Yeah. So it's like 1150. Yes, more like that. So despite the fact that it is fun, it is still on the expensive side. So for us, I think it would be skeptical cash. cash. Our next victim, jungle windups. And Sika really is stuck on this one fact that it is. It says British design since 1836. Does that mean that they've never made their design better? Like, is it the same patent as 1836? I don't know. Do you know what I mean though? Yeah, I'm, I'm guessing you're worried if they haven't changed their recipe. But hey, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. <laughs> However, my fixation on this kit, hang on, let, let me introduce this kit. The idea is we're making wind up toys with clay figures. But here's where my fixation is. It says model for wind up animals and a snake in a tree. Do you see what I'm talking about? Yeah, I didn't look at that. You just make a snake in a tree. You get four wind-up toys. But a snake in a tree. And a snake in a tree. So does that mean that they're giving you enough to make clay to make those specific four animals and a snake in a tree? Yes. So a snake in a tree. That's my fix. Why a snake in a tree? So what if I don't want these animals? I guess you can get creative. Okay. Okay? Yeah. Are you getting creative? Yes. Okay. <laughs> but you're going to have to use the entire bit of clay that I tell you. Okay. Okay. Let's do this. And then we're going to end up racing it. Let us know in the comment section below who do you think is going to win this wind up clay race. I Me, wanna... Nerdy, or this one. This one. Sika. This one. This one. 
I want to test the wind-ups to make sure they're all at the same speed. Oh, that's a good... Just in case. That's true. I don't trust it. Okay. And when we turn the back, we can see that we do get a bunch of colored clay and the wind-up thing and the snake on a tree. Do you think animals are not enough? Well, we thought so too. That's why we put in snake in a tree because it's not enough. Snake in a tree. In a tree. <laughs> all right, enough jibba-jabba. Time to see what we get inside. <laughs> you what? <laughs> Before we start, I want to say that they put it not only in bags, but in a resealable bag. And they even gave us a bigger resealable bag. Mm -hmm. Here's what we get inside. 10 colors of clay. I have the flashy ones over here, whereas Sika is holding. The non-flashy ones. We get the four mechanisms that we'll be testing out shortly. 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 <laughs> so formal. Shortly. We're shortly. going to test it. We also get the nah, racing mat. Nah that we can race on. <laughs> All right, so we get instructions. Actually, I'm gonna put them up here. And they are super detailed, telling you how to make every single animal in millimeters. Yeah, I was about to say in the millimeters. Like, in the millimeters. In the millimeters, you have to need a ruler. Yeah, and then you're gonna like, you know, rule it. <laughs> Is this ruling? This looks like it. And if you're not into reading, we definitely also get pictured instructions. How adorable is that? Very nice. Not only are they putting resealable bags, they give us detailed instructions in both pictures. And, and it's also a very cheap kit, I think, right? Yeah. You saw the price somewhere? $13. You know what we're gonna do? We're gonna test them? Yes. We're gonna test them. We're gonna see if they all work in the same speed. You ready? Yes. Okay, hang on. All right, so we're going to go ahead and take them and turn them around forward and then unleashing them while holding them and letting them go. Does that make sense to you? I think so. Okay, kind of like this. Keep holding, twist and hold. Ah. You could do that. Okay, there, see, mine won't move anymore. You ready? Yeah. Put it on. And see yeah. that? Don't mess up. Okay, okay ready? ready, set, to go. go. <laughs> oh no, mine's going diagonal. Wow, <laughs> what's wrong with mine? Come on, buddy. Come on. I don't think you twisted it far I enough. I did, I did, it wasn't, no. <laughs> Mine is no good. Don't touch it. I think yours is lazy. He has a cramp. Let him let him sit it out. Yeah, he has a cramp. Nah. Disqualified. All right, so we're gonna put this one away. Where's the good one? Okay, this one there. over here. All right, let's try again. Just do it like I do it. No. Okay. Don't tell me what to do. Okay. Okay, I'm ready. Go. <laughs> Why is this so entertaining? I don't know. Go this way. Don't touch. I'm not touching. Okay, it's so good. <laughs> Why is it going this way? <laughs> Why am I here or not? <laughs> okay, so all of them seem to be good. Hang on, so this is noisy. Okay, bye. Bye oh, bye. So all of them are good except for this one, which is good. So I think we're all even. Yes, I think so. This, the first one I think that you did went way further though. Yeah. So I'm going to go ahead and do the elephant, but first we're going to touch the clay to see what it's like. This is for sure going to be air dry type clay. Sika, what are you gonna make? I'm not sure yet. All right, well, we'll see where creativity takes us. All right, so while well, Sika makes noise. Oof. <laughs> Why? Oh, because. Okay, so while Sika is deciding to be a little bit more chaotic, let's go ahead and feel our clay. It should have this airy, bouncy feel to- Oh. I'm feeling it just through the bag. Oh my god, and that it is really nice. so soft. They really like preserved it well. Yeah, I think preserved. that 1863 recipe 1837? 1836? <laughs> <laughs> wrong. Yeah, this feels very nice. My concern is, is it actually going to hold around the body? Yeah, I feel like it might slide off. Nope. Wow. What the? Okay, let's just go ahead and get creative. I'm going to make my elephant a yellow. Oh, look at that. Oh, wow, it actually sticks. Yeah. Damn. Okay. Oh, boy. What? Okay, I'm just gonna put this here. <laughs> you might as well just <laughs> I'm gonna that. make my elephant. So here's the base of my body. I need to make sure that it's going in the right direction. Okay, so the head should be that way. Sika, what? What are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? Child. What? It's a tree. It's a tree? It's a tree trunk. Okay. With a tadpole. No. A human one. Okay. No. Okay. With a bush. Oh no. <laughs> okay, we're gonna have to make some creative adjustments, okay? Okay. Okay. Uh -huh. Okay. So here's my oh Sika, what is that? It's a tree trunk. <laughs> it is a tree trunk. I like that you've smoothed it nicely. I tried. So far so good. I'm gonna work on my trunk right here for my elephant. Elephant right there. It's uh, quite the schnoz. And we're gonna place the head like this. Hopefully it stays. I might need to add some water. 
And Sika decided to make a tree that is more of a circular, like a actual tree instead of a jungle palm type looking tree. Yes. Since the one in the picture kind of looks like this, she wants to go with rounder shapes. You like rounder? Mm. Mm. <laughs> and here's my elephant. I took a little bit of creative liberty. I mean, here's mine and here's what the one on the box looks like. Sika. Okay. <laughs> Why does your snake look like this? Well, it's actually a tadpole. A tadpole. It's a human tadpole. <laughs> oh. All right, so we're standing up, which means salt is getting real. Sika, this is on. I'm gonna take you and your human tadpole down. Most probably, it's a little heavy. Oh, that, that that's your trash talk? I was like really hoping for trash talk. <laughs> no, my piece is too heavy. It's been moonwalking. <laughs> it's just like... <laughs> Well, I'm still gonna take you down! Not if my piece falls on yours. <laughs> That's sabotage. No, it's not. It's That's sabotage. It's just a little tipsy. All right, I'm gonna wind mine. I'm gonna do your technique of twirlies. <laughs> my finger hurts. I know. Ow! You ready? No. Okay, I'm ready. Yeah, go, go. Yeet! Buddy! No! <laughs> Come on! See, it's moonwalking! Come on! <laughs> no! <laughs> Wow, sabotage! Oh, oh no, no, oh, no, no, no! Oh no! Winner! Whoa! Abuse! Ah. <laughs> and so the question is, did we have fun? Yes! Did the kit work? Yes! Which makes it so much more for me and me <laughs> worth your cash. <laughs> Super cheap too, right? It was 13 bucks and you get so much clay and they package it so well too. So your clay isn't coming out dry, which is really amazing. Cause that seems to always be an issue. We always get like a little hole or something and then the clay is garbage. Yeah, which ends up being a problem mostly for Crayola clay. I, I, I didn't want to say it. I was like, I'm going to leave them out of it, but you said it. So sorry Crayola, but they took the precaution of putting it inside a bag, inside another bag. So. And gave us another bag. That's true. Yeah. Actually, the only con we have is that there was one windy toy that didn't go as far as the rest. That's about it. I mean, yeah. 13 bucks. It's not that big of an issue. Just don't make it as heavy as Sika's. Hey, I used a lot more clay than you did. <laughs> that was a choice. That was a personal choice. I was yeah. like, we're gonna weigh it and make it equal, and then you went ahead and went extra. You, we didn't even weigh it to begin with. Because you went extra. I was like, mm. No. <laughs> Mm -mm. If I take the top of my tree off, I'm pretty sure I'll win. All right, let's see it, tough guy. Let's see what you got. And what do we have? Oh, you better not bump into me. You're <laughs> walking into my lane. Yeah, right. <laughs> you better not. Oh, Look at you. Are we finishing at the same time? Pretty much. <gasps> Almost. Winners. Both of us. Wow. Why? Oh, no, he's hit. <gasps> wow. Remember, if you want to find Sika, you can see her on Instagram at nerdystarkerscoursika. I know, I changed the words, didn't I? It didn't I put like, you off balance, didn't it? That's what I do. Why? You can't yeah. get comfortable here. <laughs> and if you want to find me, recently I've been on Twitter and Twitch a lot more often, so come and hang out there. It's at Nerdy Crafter. All links will be down below. If you want to watch the previous Cash or Trash with Sika, make sure you check up here. And if you want to watch an experimental crafting video, make sure you check over here. Until then, we will see you grains in the next video.